I feel like I'm disappearing. Just my head, you can see. I'm floating. And this black top and dark background, it looks so creepy on my screen. I could see only my face there and I'm really glad that on real camera it turned out quite alright. I'm recording today's video not to dance for you, but to show you something. I recently I received uh, two paints from JustPaint.com, uh, which are new paints of new brand, uh, which called Fusion Body Art. And I have two white colors, prime white and paraffin white. And uh, paraffin white is supposed to be the whitest white. And uh, prime white, I don't know, it's also white. But also what I received is eight sets of stencils in a circle which consists of a few different shapes in one circle. Each circle has a separate theme. I'm going to show you uh, more of these just in the close-up and I'm going to show you uh, fusion paint So thank you very much just paint for sending me these samples um, So I will be able to show it to you guys I'll also place link down below so you can see it in the shop and I'm going to try them So let's see my swatch test First of all both of these paints have very good coverage Secondly, there is a small difference in a tone, so uh, paraffin white is a bit e more yellow and prime white it's kind of blue tint to it. It is hardly noticeable, but it is there. Don't get me wrong, it's really really white, it's just a small little difference that I could see, so I'm trying to um, all share it with you. For me, they were quite similar in applying, but after drying, I would say that paraffin white was more matte and Prime white was a little bit shinier. When touching paraffin white feels a bit drier and prime white a bit softer. In my next swatches I'm going to apply this paint with a brush just over my skin and then I'm also going to go over another paint just to see how it reacts with a different paint. I'm using different brushes so I won't need to switch in between and I won't have any residue of paint. From the information that I have, uh, general diffusion is supposed to be glycerin paints but uh, for paraffin white, there is uh, more paraffin, I think, than glycerin in that. Uh, and that's why it behaves a bit more like wax paint. Therefore, I would treat them not as better and worse, but for different purposes paints. I'm not sure if you could see from what I was doing just now, but a paraffin white was creating uh, some kind of layer on on the skin and this is a bit more intense than prime white but maybe it was just a matter of uh, applying the paint maybe a bit thicker layer i cannot tell for sure because they are very very similar the blue color that i'm applying just now is to work as a background for a line work i'm trying to achieve the same consistency it's really hard because um, some paints might be drier, some might be more uh, damp before I actually start working on them. So I just um, rely on the look how it looks at the start of painting. And this is a place where I saw a little bit of difference between these two paints. Working with Prime White is applying a glycerin paint over a glycerin paint. And I see that it is smudging a little bit, it's kind of working together and mixing a little bit. You can see that white is a bit blue, has a bit bluish tint to it. However, with paraffin white, the lines were clearer, the paint wasn't mixing that much together and overall effect was a bit better. If I would to choose paraffin or 
prime white I will choose prime white maybe for um, some backgrounds for blending and paraffin white for line work especially if I would need to go over another paint but if I would work on a clear skin without any layer underneath I would uh, I could work on both paints they are quite good both And while I remember, I would like also to invite you to the group One Stroke Beauty, where you can see lots of One Stroke designs, not only by me, but by other amazing artists, some video tutorials. Also, I have placed at the top of this group in announcements, artists that are painting in One Stroke technique, and then you're free to add your options, the artists that inspire you in One Stroke, or vote on those whom you already like, and they are already here. This is kind of a chart and of inspiration for you if you're looking for some inspiration you can always look through this artist and be inspired and if you would like to follow me personally you can also find me on instagram as ulianka arty i would love if you join me there what i also done for these paints is a stress test so i was smudging i was trying to smudge them with a sponge so i was going quite hard on both of them and as you see paraffin white is actually a little bit um starting to to break a little bit more than prime white here uh, you see it's a bit bluish with prime white because i went uh, over with sponge over the white over the blue paint but um prime white wasn't actually breaking at all part of white was breaking a little bit but i was really going over really hard on both of paints this sponge is also uh, quite rough so you see how hard i'm going over these paints and now you see that the, at the top paraffin white starting cracking and prime white is not cracking at all it's maybe a faded uh, just a little bit but not substantially i have repeated this test again and was walking around with uh, paints on my arm. Um, I spent a few hours with this paint and the same effect happened. And to finish off this review for a white paint, I washed it off without any soap and no marks were left as usual because normally after white paint you wouldn't have any, any colored skin. I think I covered the main differences in these two paints and now we can go back to stencils. I have opened two already and I have been using them on my parties just to try it out. And I quite like this idea because it's easy to pick up a certain theme. I could kind of combine them together and hold in the same stencil like without changing going back to my case. Uh, I'm just applying like the fire and then the wall then something else. I can swap the um the um, sponges if i want but i was using actually mostly black and i was using it as a background actually because i normally paint the character in one stroke technique and then i'm coming and adding some more details with the stencil and i do find this very handy although i've been sent these ones for free i um i'm not being paid for this video and i do honestly like them what I also wanted to tell about the stencils that I actually never knew about the existence of this circle stencils and that they're connected into themes. So when Just Paint asked me if I would like to um, get some stencils to uh, to see how I like them and maybe to do some pictures with them, I thought, oh, that would be great. I would also will be able to do a video for you guys. And when they sent it to me, I I saw it. And I was like, wow! I never seen that before because I, I I don't know. Maybe I'm too I'm I'm not spending enough time in shops. Although I do spend a lot of time on shops, um, face painting shops, and I haven't seen these before. So it was quite a pleasant surprise that I've got these. I've got eight of these, and I'm going to show you them a bit closer. There is actually one thing which I was worrying about is that the the sole although they are all connected nicely in one sheet the problem might be where uh, I, I would need to go closer to the eyes because it, it's quite big so 
I would need to be able to hide some kind of uh, fit it uh, around the small faces. But uh, since I was taking these to my work and I was trying them, it is common like uh, like over the face. But what I found that it's very easy to bend it like this, like sideways, and then working with a small sponge, I can actually get anywhere that I want. So um, at the end, it wasn't a problem. Since I use many stencils and um, around my designs normally, what I would do, I would cut my uh, sponge in a quarter. So it's not even a half, it's a quarter. And I'm using this part because it doesn't have edges. At least I do need a sharp edge, like for some kind of... Uh, shadowing or whatever then I would use this this side but normally I would use this soft side and then if I would like to go with a one of these um, s shapes in like around my eye for example I would just bend it and then go inside with a small um, with a small sponge so that's actually working pretty fine so this is the first stencil with boys design. I can't believe I haven't done any pictures, just one that I could actually find and I was using the wall one. I think this is my favorite out of these six, but I I do like them all. This one is kind of universal, so you have stars, hearts and flowers. And I think I love the most this one because the combination of stars together, this is just great. I, I use it quite a lot and even adults quite like these stars. They kind of, um, I use them combining with different colors and they look great. I don't know, maybe it's just my uh, personal preference but I really, really like this stencil. The next one is patterns, like nature patterns. I used scales the most, and it was actually a huge hit. I used most of them apart from this zebra pattern, and I was thinking to use it on a cat, but didn't have a chance to paint a cat actually, so I didn't have a chance to use it. I haven't used the rest of the stencil, so I'm going to open them just now and show it and see them for the first time actually out of the foil. Don't you think that this one is actually very cute? It's It contains of all of the fairy designs and um, they can go as a main character, as a fairy just in the middle of the forehead or uh, as a background, as a helping to um, make design more interesting. Next one is a dragon one. So there are a few types of scales and there are two horns which can combine, one is right and other is left. And these two you can use separately or you can combine with two different colors, like for background and foreground. Obviously I couldn't wait so I had to check it straight away whether it's definitely fit in. And as you see it does. The only thing I could probably wait a little bit longer to wait for a lower um, layer to dry, but I'm too impatient. The next stencil is Halloween themed and you have all what's needed for Halloween. I don't think actually that this stencil needs an explanation, just have a nice orange background and then to add some black um, sponge over, this is it, your design is complete. Christmas stencil. Again, not much explanation needed. I can even do a switch in two stages, which is actually quite handy. The next one actually is a combination of all the celebrations. So we have winter, we have St. Patrick's Day, Easter, hearts for Valentine's Day, and fireworks probably for Guy Fawkes nights. I think so. So I've shown you eight stencils. I would be really curious to know which one is your own favorite and what you would use it for. I would love if you press a pause now and comment on your favorite one. I hope you find something new in today's video and if you did maybe your friend will do as well so I would appreciate if you share it with your face painting friend. Also, if you watched that far, that means probably that this video deserves a like from you. So don't be mean and press this little button with a thumb up. And of course, thank you if you've done this already. This is all for today. I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!